All right, we're in this chapter section 10-6, the binomial theorem. Uh, and this starts by looking at Pascal's triangle. Um, actually, it was the Chinese that discovered a pattern of numbers that was later referred to as Pascal's triangle, which can be used to determine the coefficients of an expanded binomial. Now, what we see here at the top of the slide um, right here is Pascal's triangle for a binomial uh, raised to the fifth power, sixth power, seventh power, and eighth power. You can find on your book on page 699 uh, Pascal's triangle for a binomial raised from the zero power down to the fifth power. Uh, this I pulled out of um, example one, also in on page 699, uh, and then in a few minutes, few moments, we're going to use Pascal's triangle to expand c plus the binomial c plus d raised to the ninth power. But when we look at this triangle, we can see that each row or the coefficients, and this helps us determine coefficients starts with one and ends with one. So you see here at the fifth power, you've got one, two, one, five, 10, 10, five. And down here at the eighth power, you've got one, eight, 28, 56, 70, 56, 28, eight, and one. So it starts and ends with one. And then the second number, and I'm gonna work down here on the eighth power. You can see that If I take 1 plus 7, it equals 8. If I take 7 plus 21, take the row above, 7 plus 21 equals 28. Uh, 21 plus 35 equals 56. 35 plus 35 equals 70. And then it begins to decline. 35 plus 21 equals 56. 21 plus 7 equals 28. And 7 plus 1 equals 8. And then it'll finally end with 1. <clears throat> now, in a few minutes, we're going to be looking at the binomial theorem, which we can use combinations. Uh, combinatory, I got it right that time, a little bit of stutter there, um, to find these coefficients. But we're going to use the Pascal's triangle in this example to expand C plus D to the ninth. Now, so I'm going to start, it's going to be one, coefficient's going to be one, so I've got C to the ninth, and then plus... And the, and the exponent for C is going to decline every time we write a term. And the, co and the exponent for D is going to begin to increase every time we write a term. Now, let's think about our coefficients. All right. You know, I look at 1 plus 8, so it's going to be 9. C to the 8th, D. We've now introduced the D plus, and let's see, 8 plus 28, 8 plus 28 is 36, so we've got 36, c to the seventh, d squared, all right, plus, let's see, 28 plus 56, 4 carry 1, 84, 84, C to the 6, notice our exponents on the C's are declining each time we write a term. D to the 3rd, and the coefficient of D here in this example is increasing. One other thing, too, is these exponents, when you add them together, must equal 9. So 6 plus 6 and 3, from right here, 6 and 3 does, in fact, equal 9. 7 and 2 equals 9. 8 and 1 equals 9. All right, let's continue writing our coefficients. Let's see, that was 28 plus 56. All right, so now I've got 56 plus 70 is going to be 126. And it's going to be sloppy six there. C to the fifth, 
d to the fourth plus all right, let's see, 70 plus 56 is going to be 126. Again, 126. C to the fourth. D to the fifth. Plus 56 plus 28 is going back to 84. 84. C cubed. D to the sixth. Notice again, my exponents are... Totally 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. C to the 3rd. D to the 6th. Plus. Uh, 28 plus 8 is 36. 36. C squared. D to the 7th. Plus. Uh, 8 plus 1 is 9. 9. C to the 1st power. 7 to the 8th power. And then we finish this with D to the ninth power. Okay. That's a demonstration of using Pascal's triangle to expand a binomial. Now, next we're going to look again, as I said earlier, the binomial theorem. We're going to use our calculators after we do the setup. All right, there we go, using Pascal's triangle.